out way better, totally better. Three times as awesome a game than Deke Yield Entry Point. And I can prove that very easily. This is some of the best things to do in Hitman. Now, technically, this is only Hitman 1 because of time constraints with the project, but, whatever. Let's begin on the map Paris, where we can listen to this guy talk about his favorite building in all of Times Square. Moving on a little bit, we can admire 47's macho macho attitude when it comes from gracefully carrying items around. Now, everyone likes chandeliers, but only in Hitman can you kill someone with one. Now that's what I like to call game design. Now, this is a trick most people don't usually think about. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy. Here you go, piece of candy. Looking good, man. What? Oh, Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. That's enough of Paris. Let's move on to Sapienza, Italy for next batch of Hitman exclusive activities. Just look at this apartment. You cannot achieve this level of comfort in a game such as that blasphemous entry point. Let people feel the wrath of the save button, and more importantly, Santa Claus. <laughs> I think we gotta let this weirdo have some space to, to act out something. We're now gonna move on to Marrakesh. Mainly because there's not really any extra footage. Well, and because I died. Allow yourself to be one with nature while browsing the delicious lamps of Marrakesh. Salam alaikum. You want a lamp? These are dark times, no? Let in some light, I say. Be a philanthropic assassin, because who doesn't wow, like one of those? You are my hero, thank you. I'm, uh, I am eternally in debt to you. Ah, oh, wow, that was, uh, that was close, thank you. I, oh, I really appreciate it, man. Become the cameraman for a news studio and drop a moose on top of someone. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec? I think you could do something about the lights upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. Nice day for it, isn't it? Target down. Next up, raises Z down. Only two words for this one. Ceiling toilet. Now let's move on to Bangkok, which, well, okay, get the joke out of your system because I'm not saying it. Get the key to your room, walk up to your room, and call in room service immediately. Do whatever this briefcase did. I don't even- I couldn't even replicate this. This is a one-time occurrence. Now, this isn't my trick, or this isn't like an interesting map thing or anything. But, if you shoot with a Kruger mirror at a guard three times, they won't be able to detect you because they'll be in a panic state. Very useful, especially in this section of Bangkok, if you don't have a guard disguise. Smother a man with a cake in front of all of his friends on his birthday. 
Now let's move on to sunshiny kinda Colorado. Try, and most importantly, fail pistol sniping every single target on the map from the water tower. Another thing I completely found on accident, if you are arrested in this one specific spot, you won't ever start fighting them and they won't ever start fighting you. There isn't really a purpose to this at all. Try and succeed at normally sniping every single target on the map. For our last location today, but certainly not leastly, we're going to be covering Hokkaido, Japan. Finding out the struggle between picking between the 1 to 3 viable items after figuring out the most efficient strategy for killing people. Killing someone with a gondola, of all things. And lastly, but not leastly, shooting someone's reversed heart through a door, through a tube, through a piece of glass. So that's the show. This is for JHFJ Sparrow's uh, presentation competition challenge thing. This hopefully proved him that this is, makes Hitman better. And with that said, thank you for watching, and goodbye!